Hey, Anson, it's Mayor Kevin Zahara here with the COVID-19 update for April the 29th. Province announced 315 new cases of COVID-19 across the province in the last 24 hours, bringing the total to just over 5,000 cases, unfortunately 87 deaths today. Most of the cases are focused in southern Alberta around Calgary. They had some major outbreaks down south. Uh, luckily here in our part of the province, uh, not as significant here in Edson. Uh, still zero confirmed cases. Way to go, Edson. And uh, we need to keep up those efforts of ensuring that we're following the proper hygiene protocols and social distancing and uh, making sure we're not having any of those mass gatherings. I'm hopeful uh, that uh, with the numbers that we're seeing in the province, uh, the Premier spoke about this earlier this week, we'll see a reopening of Alberta here in the next few weeks. Uh, May is just around the corner and the Premier has said in May we're going to start seeing an easing of restrictions. Uh, so hopefully we'll see some of the businesses uh, coming back and being able to be reopened. Uh, things like golf courses and campgrounds, I hope, will be able to be reopened as well. Uh, really, we've we've made the effort. We've done what we've done over the last number of weeks, but we really need to get back into some sort of new normal uh, and get people back to work. We can't sustain this for, for much longer, and I'm certainly will be supportive of the Premier and uh, officials uh, moving forward with that here in the next few weeks. Uh, here in Epson, uh, I do want to talk about our hometown heroes. There is a ton of individuals, ton of organizations in our community that have been helping out in the last number of weeks, various different ways, uh, some uh, maybe more visible than others. And that's why we wanna hear about your stories, about our hometown heroes, people who are helping people in our community. You can nominate our hometown heroes by clicking on the link above and we're gonna share those stories online through our community services department in the next few weeks. Be sure to nominate uh, individuals in our community and talk about uh, what they've done to support our community and Edson in the last number of weeks. And uh, we look forward to sharing those stories with you. Now, council uh, met last night uh, to discuss our mill rate. Of course, we've found $1.8 million worth of savings in our 2020 budget. Uh, that has led to some service reductions and uh, unfortunately some staff layoffs, uh, reductions in hours and that sort of thing. Uh, but we have to decide what we want to do with those savings. Now, we are setting a, the most most of that onto the side for now uh, into a savings account uh, to help with future recovery once we know uh, what is happening with provincial and federal programs. And so we can really uh, make sure that uh, the money that we do have set aside can really make a meaningful impact in our community. Uh, but we are taking some of that and uh, applying it to reduce our tax revenue for this year. So uh, we are reducing our tax revenue by 5% from our original 2020 budget. And uh, we decided last night with our mill rates that 20% of that's gonna be applied to the residential sector and 80% to the non-residential sector. Now, how that impacts your individual properties will depend on assessment, uh, and that fluctuates depending on the property. Uh, overall, in the residential uh, sector, we have seen a decline of assessment of over $33 million, uh, quite significant uh, with uh, falling housing prices and that sort of thing. So uh, you're not gonna see a major uh, significant decrease probably uh, in your residential taxes, but it certainly will help on the non-residential side. Uh, moving forward and those tax notices will be going out uh, here in the next few weeks. But one of the things that uh, we are doing for residents uh, is applying a $100 utility credit, uh, which will be coming up on the uh, upcoming utility bill. And that's putting more money in your pocket to hopefully pay bills, uh, uh, to buy food or whatever you need to do with uh, with that extra money. So you'll see that credit on your residential utility bill uh, coming up here in the next few weeks. And now you might not need that utility credit. We encourage you to spend it locally at a local business or maybe donating it to one of the non profits in our community. Uh, stay tuned because we'll have more details on recovery programs in the upcoming months uh, after we learn more about what's going on with uh, with the closures and reopenings and, and getting feedback from the business community. Uh, Mary Glinsky, Mayor Michaels from Hinton, myself, along with Mayor Ireland and West Yellow Community Futures and Alberta Labor are going to be hosting a Zoom meeting next week with uh, regional businesses. Uh, details on that will be announced uh, uh, coming up, I believe, tomorrow. And uh, we look forward to engaging with uh, with our regional business community to, to get their thoughts as we plan forward and uh, look forward to recovery later on this year and into 2021. We will get through this. Uh, it's gonna take some time, but I know we're strong and resilient and uh, we will figure out a way forward uh, as we uh, as we deal with COVID-19. Very proud of the work our community has done uh, so far. Edson, be safe, be kind, take care of one another, and we'll talk to you on Friday.